Welcome to the ultimate showdown of Linux Titans. Today we pit two of the most popular Linux distributions against each other. Ubuntu, the user-friendly champion, and Fedora, the bleeding-edge innovator. Whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned developer, this video will help you decide which distro deserves a place on your machine. Stick around because we'll also explore Fedora Silverblue, a revolutionary new approach to Linux desktops. Before we dive into the details, let's set the stage. Both Ubuntu and Fedora have released their latest versions, Ubuntu 24.010, packed with improved usability and polish. Fedora 38 featuring cutting-edge technologies like GNOME 44 and the innovative Fedora Silver Blue variant. Each has its strengths, but the right choice depends on what you need. Linux is growing in popularity every year, offering free and open-source alternatives to traditional operating systems. But the question remains, which Linux distribution is right for you? In this video, we'll compare Ubuntu and Fedora in terms of user experience performance package management, community support, and real-world use cases. And of course, we'll highlight Fedora Silver Blue, which takes Linux innovation to the next level. Ubuntu's massive community is one of its greatest strengths. Whether you're troubleshooting, learning, or experimenting, you'll find plenty of support through official forums, comprehensive documentation, and countless YouTube tutorials. For those who prioritize stability, Ubuntu's long-term support releases like 2024.04 LTS are unbeatable. They offer five years of updates, making them perfect for production environments and users who want a reliable, no surprises system. Now let's talk about Fedora, the tech enthusiast's favorite. Fedora 38 brings cutting-edge technology to your fingertips with features like the Wayland Display Server for better performance and security. And of course, the latest GNOME 44 offering a modern and customizable desktop. Fedora isn't just about aesthetics, it's a powerhouse for developers with advanced tools like Podman for containers and Flatpak for sandboxed apps. Fedora's DNF Package Manager provides robust performance and flexibility, perfect for power users. Fedora is also deeply committed to open source innovation. Many technologies you see in other distributions like Wayland were pioneered in Fedora. This makes Fedora an exciting playground for developers and a vital part of the Linux ecosystem. Let's not forget Fedora Silverblue, a game changer in the Linux world. Silverblue takes a different approach with its immutable design, meaning the core system is red only, providing unparalleled stability and security. Updates are applied atomically, ensuring no partial installs or failed upgrades. It's perfect for developers using container-based workflows thanks to tools like Toolbox and Flatpak. If you're a developer or power user who values consistency and security, Silverblue is an innovative option worth exploring. Now let's compare these distributions head-to-head -head ease of use. Ubuntu wins for beginners with its user-friendly interface. Fedora's design is more geared towards experienced users. Stability. Ubuntu's LTS releases are unmatched for long-term reliability, while Fedora's frequent updates bring the latest innovations. Package management Ubuntu uses apt while Fedora relies on DNF. Both are powerful, but Fedora's Flatpak support offers more flexibility. Community Ubuntu's massive user base ensures more beginner-friendly resources, while Fedora's community focuses on advanced development and innovation. So, which distro reigns supreme? The answer depends on you. Choose Ubuntu if you're new to Linux or need a stable, beginner-friendly system. Go with Fedora if you're a tech-savvy user who thrives on innovation and the latest features. And don't overlook Fedora Silver Blue if you value security, immutability, and modern workflows. What's your favorite Linux distribution? Are you Team Ubuntu, Team Fedora, or do you have another go-to distro? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Linux content. Join us next time for another exciting exploration of the Linux world. Thank you for watching.